Hey guys, it's me, Mr. C, here to show you guys how to use your Chromebooks to connect to one of the wireless temperature sensors so that you can measure the temperature of different lab experiments and uh, graph that data automatically. So you're gonna start with your Chromebook logged in and you're gonna go to the website, mrc.link slash sensors. When you get there, it's gonna bring up the website where you install the program that's called Vernier Graphical Analysis. So you click on the button that says Add to Chrome and then Add App. Give it a few seconds to load <clears throat> and then the button will say Launch App. Now this app takes a few minutes to load. So while it's loading, you can go ahead and grab one of Mr. C's temperature probes. And what you wanna make sure you do is that you press the button and let go so you see a flashing red light. That means that the probe, the temperature sensor, is ready to connect as soon as the computer is ready to see it. So we'll speed up this part and come back in just a sec. All right, now, the graphical analysis software is up and running. We're gonna click on the button that says Sensor Data Collection. And it's gonna ask us to find this device. Now on the back side of the device are some letters and the bottom one is the one you want, the uh, ID. And mine says 0F105764. 0F105764. It's this one right here. So I'm gonna click on Connect. Give that a couple seconds, it is now connected. And then I click done. Now what I have in front of me is the basic graph which uses temperature in degrees Celsius, that works great for us. And it has a built-in three minute duration, which is usually more than enough time for us to do this experiment. If you need more time, you can simply um, run the collection a second time. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the temperature probe into whatever experiment I need to measure. It'll usually be a beaker or a graduated cylinder. And once it's in there, wireless, it just needs to be within a few feet of the Chromebook. And then all I have to do is press the collect button. And what it's gonna begin doing is measuring the temperature that the probe is exposed to. You can see that right now it's showing about 30 degrees which makes sense in this room, it's at about 30 degrees. If I warm it up a little bit, we'll see that graph start to go upwards. <coughs> Excuse me. And upwards, getting closer and closer to body temperature. And then if I let go, it'll start to come down again. And remember that in the Labapalooza experiment, I'm gonna be mixing calcium chloride and water, trying to get the highest possible temperature that I can. Now, once uh, the experiment is over, once the temperature in the lab has gotten as high as possible and starts to come down, you can click stop. And then all you have to do is click on the graph at your highest point, and it will tell you what that temperature is, 32.9 degrees and at the lowest point, and it will tell you that's 29.6. And then you can figure out the difference in temperature. Now, when you're done, make sure you bring the temperature probe back to Mr. C and uh, that you close this program when you're done. And uh, that's it, all done.